uh, this question says make arrow the subject formula in pi arrow square is equals v arrow square now uh change of subject formula is actually a single variable in an equation which other things are equal to and it's usually at the left look at this if you look at this option arrow option e it says arrow is equals arrow root v in this case the subject here is arrow right so if i give you p is equals m v square the subject here is p right if i say uh, v is equals u t plus a t the subject here is v so it's that single variable that every other thing is equal to now if i say area is equals length times breadth lv the subject formula here is a change of subject formula is simply changing the subject making another thing to stand alone y is equal to the rest so if i say make l subject formula here it means let l be alone and equal to any other thing here if i say make a subject formula it means i don't want v to be here change it rearrange this equation so that a will be here and it will be equal to every other thing that's what change of formula is about now if you are making l subject formula here it means i'm changing the subject formula from a to l i'll simply say this is l this is b so to make l stand alone if you divide here by b and divide here by b so b divided by b would give you one so a over b is equals l and l is equals a over b so with this i've made l subject formula in this equation okay this we are making a subject formula here it means i am changing from v to a so i can simply say okay bringing this ut this way it becomes negative so i can say v minus ut is equals a t right so i can say since i'm looking for a let me divide both sides of the equation by t because what happens to one side should happen to the other side to make sure that the equation remains balanced if i'm doing that this one over t this over t t cancels t i'll be left with a is equals v minus u t over t so with that i've made a subject formula i've changed subject from v to a in this similarly in this if you are making m subject formula here i can divide both sides by v so if i say p is equals m v square and i divide both sides by v square v square will simply cancel v square so p over v square is equals m so m is equals p over v square i've made m subject formula here if you are making v subject formula i will say p is equals m v square so if i divide both sides by m m here m m divided by m will give you one so m has cancelled m p over m here is equals v square but we are looking for v and not v square so what to do is to remove this square you look for the square root of both sides so square root is removed to remove is used to remove square why square is used to remove square root so this is square so if you look for the square root of here and square root of here this square root will cancel this square so v will be left here and here will be p over m is equals v so v is equals square root of p over m it is the same thing as square root of p over square root of m so i made the v subject formula here that's how to solve questions involving change of subject formula so look at this question before us you say pi arrow square is equals v arrow square so we are making small arrow subject formula not big arrow if i'm doing that i'll say okay divide both sides by v right so this over v this over v this divided by this so i will be left with pi arrow square over v is equals arrow square and now remember what i told you to remove square we look for square root of both sides so if i square root of this and this this square root will remove this square i'll be left with pi arrow square over v is equals arrow so arrow will be equals now if you look at this side remember i told you that square root 
can remove square, right? Square and square root can cancel. If you look at this here now, this arrow is square, right? And this inside square root. This implies that this square root can remove this square from this arrow to make sure that the square root is broken from here. So with that, this square cancel this square root away from just arrow. So with this becomes r is equals square root of pi over v times r because the square on top of r has removed square root from itself or in another word square, uh, square root of r square is equals r plus r so this implies that small r is equals big r root pi over v so this is your answer Thank you for watching my video. I am Flash Isaac. Feel free to subscribe to this channel, Flash Learners, to get my updates on new videos. And don't forget to check out my other videos. Visit flashlearners.com slash videos or search Flash Learners on YouTube to see my amazing videos for all your topics. I really appreciate your time. Thank you.